Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new week. It's Monday. That's right. And on Monday, we always review a deck of playing cards. Why? Because I love cards. I love cards and I love card magic and cards are the building blocks upon which we build our magic upon. Today we're looking at the 11th hour playing cards from Emily Slights 52 and Bill Davis Magic. All right, this deck of cards has a theme that represents the limited amount of time we all have left and what we plan on doing with it. This deck is completely custom from the tuck to the marking system to the cards inside top to bottom designed by Emily and Bill who also enlisted the design help of Daniel Schneider and Destino. This deck is full of symbolism, full of meaning, and showcases pocket watch faces that all indicate 11 minutes past the last hour. In other words, the 11th hour, a point in time that is almost too late. The tuck case is all done in matte black and burnished bronze. The front has the clock with the 11 minutes past 11. One side says Bill Davis Magic. The other side says Emily Slights 52. I would highly recommend you head on down to Instagram and follow both of these channels today. The bottom is that copper cigar band that's wrapping all the way around to the back, which says play your last hand well. The top says 11th hour and the inside tuck flap says the countdown begins now. When you open up the tuck flap, you're gonna see uh, digits, numerals, printed on the inside, but on the two tiny tuck flaps, there is the Roman numeral five and the Roman numeral two. That's everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's break it open and look inside. Like I said, the back design is marked. That's right, kids. This is a marked deck. And it also has a hidden one-way back design that's indicated by a dark marking in one of the crowns. The back design has a nice medium-sized poker border that's broken up by a black field you got that gold bar going down the center with a clock watch on the top and bottom. With this deck, you'll get a duplicate nine of clubs, which of course is Daniel Madison's favorite card. And that's also revealed on the king of diamonds, which is Daniel Madison. Also with this deck, you'll get an ad card with the tags of all the creators. And on the back side is the key to reading the marking system. Your two jokers are an opened pocket watch. They both say joker up at the top. One joker, uh, the glass on the pocket watch is shattering and there is a card reveal inside. Your ace of spades is made to look like a clock and it's 11 minutes past the hour. It says 11th hour playing cards and underneath that it says Tempest Fugit. Your pips and indices cards are completely bicycle standard, blacks are black, reds are red, everything is where it should be. All your court cards are standard as well, however, they feature little custom pocket watches that Daniel Schneider filled in. And it can be a lot of fun looking through them to try to find the watches. And of course, you're gonna see that classy deep red and that beautiful bronze color throughout. But that's just what the cards look like. You also wanna know how they feel and how they handle. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, which makes the best cards in the world. That's right, I can take 10 of these cards, put them in a caliper and measure them. 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.85. 2.85 is a thicker cardstock, thicker cardstock, which means snappy, more rigid, they'll bend and they'll snap back quicker and they will last you a good long time. That's everything I can say about the 11th hour playing cards. I believe they're $15 and they're available at your favorite magic retailer. You can find them wherever quality playing cards are sold. I want to thank Emily Slides 52 and I want to thank Bill Davis Magic for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, head on down to your favorite place to buy cards. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.